Hey guys, it's uh, cooled down a little bit today. It's been in the 90s and, oh, yeah. First things first, audio. When you got some wind, a lot of times I got to use my little Zoom H1. So I'm going to put this in my pocket. I got it plugged in. You can't see it here. I hope you can hear it. I'm, I got it kind of taped in inside my shirt here. So, But what I'm going to do today, I want to talk about what I'm going to be using come fall, come uh, uh, early season season as far as uh, what I use on my hunts, what I film with, and just to kind of give you an idea of um, of how I go about things. So first off, uh, my A camera, I guess you'd call it. Uh, right now I'm running the, the uh, Sony A7Threes, which is uh, this right here. Uh, I have, let me tighten this up here. Uh, I've got a 70 to 200 um, L4 uh, Sony lens right now on this one. It's the uh, GOSS lens. Uh, I will use it, um, but oftentimes I don't have it right now. But I usually use a Sony G Master uh, 28 to 135. It's also an L4. It, I really like it because um, with this camera, I can actually use uh, APS-C mode and instead of, instead of full frame and get an extra 1.5 roughly times reach out of it. So that 135 becomes what, is that 205, 200, something like that. So uh, it gives me some really good reach as well. Um, sorry, I'm trying to plug this in here. So, so I run this uh, as my A camera. Uh, I usually have it attached to my muddy arm. I don't know this muddy, I really like it, uh, but I'm going to experiment this year some with a crossfire arm, um, which I've been playing with. Um, it's really, really, it's a, it's a lightweight, but it's, it, it doesn't move on you. Uh, I've also got a fourth arrow arm. I did have, I, I bought the running gun set up, and I just got to say I was not at all happy with the running gun with the, um, the it's got some brackets on how, uh, on the, uh, the base, arm base. And that little thing, I, I actually broke a, a por portion of the ratchet strap trying to get it tight enough because you could not get that thing tight enough, so, uh, tighten up enough. So I ended up doing some rigging with it, uh, took the little brackets off and I bought a ratchet strap at TSC and it kind of made it work. And I think it's working pretty good now. So I'm trying to decide which camera arm I'm going to be using. But there again, this is my A-cam, a Sony, uh, Sony AS A7 III. Uh, uh, another good camera is the A6500, A6400. Those are APS-C uh, 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 style cameras. If you're going to run those, a lens that I really, really like, it's a budget lens, and it's a really good, good lens, is the, uh, it's the Sony 18-105 to lens. So uh, you can also, oftentimes you can find those in, in the kit. So this, is gonna, this, this will be my A camera. As you see here, my little setup here, I have a small HD uh, monitor here. I think it's the five inch monitor. I think it's the, is it the, the focus? I can't even remember. I can't keep up with everything that I have. I've got so much stuff. So, um, so I'll be running this monitor. You can flip it to where if I need it to be facing this way, it'll face this way, or I can face it back toward me like this. So when I'm filming, I often kind of keep it here to where it's, on, it's kind of to my side and I can look and see what I'm filming. Uh, I'm using the little, uh, use, I use a Rode Micro, I think it is, uh, Go. This is actually a ViewFlex. It's a kind of an off-brand, but it works pretty good. It looks, it's kind of real similar to the little, little, uh, the, uh, little Rode mic. So uh, I just use that. I also, there again, I have the Zoom H1, which you probably just heard me hit that, with a little Sony stereo mic. See that? So I'll run that too a lot, a lot of times, especially if it's windy. But I got to say, oftentimes, if you're three or four feet away, this right here works pretty doggone good. So that's that. Also this year, I got a car coming. Also this year, I recently bought this Sony um, AX53, I think is what it's called. So uh, I've never used it before besides at, around the house. But now this will be my B camera, but I think it can make it a, little, a decent A camera for a lot of guys. I think it's a great starter camera for, for a lot of guys. It has, it has the optical steady shot that is pretty outstanding. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. So usually what I have, I'll have this in front of me kind of down to my right. I'll have this kind of up behind me facing down. I'll have it wide open as far as, um, I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's uh, what the specs are on it. But anyhow, it's going to be, I think maybe 26 to whatever it is range zoom range so i have it wide open to get as much of me in focus or uh, uh me and hopefully the animal 
um, in view as possible. So that'll be up here. And then, as you see here, I also have on my Obsession FX6, which I love, by the way, um, is my... I'm using a Yi. Is it Yi? Yi 4K? Yi 4K? Whatever. Uh, so I've got it mounted here. This is with the Bowfinger... Um, I can't remember. It's on the Bowfinger site. Uh, they also make our stable, the uh, both attic stabilizers for us. So, uh, but I'll be using this uh, either pointed towards the animal or pointed towards me. I can't decide. I keep going back and forth on that because sometimes, you know, when you're filming, you can't, you can't always, especially during rut, you can't always stay on that animal. So uh, I thought, well, it might be good having this as a um, just an as, as extra precaution. Uh, facing the animal just so I get some form of some some form of a kill shot or a miss shot uh when I when I do uh, uh fire a shot at the animal so um so there you go with that so basically I have my action camera here I've got my a camera the Sony a7 III uh with the small HD uh, monitor five inch monitor again I think it's the focus I've got the Sony AX53 I think as the B camera um, I'm hoping that works out well and is that about it plus my iPhone um, I don't have my iPhone on me but I have the uh, the iPhone and, and an iPhone really to me I prefer an iPhone usually over a action camera so a lot of times uh, you know you when you see certain footage that I use it is done with an iPhone um, so I've often thought about trying to film a whole entire hunt just with an iPhone just to show guys what you can do with those things because it's pretty pretty amazing so um uh, but uh if you're on a budget what would i recommend man i don't know i mean if it's if it is like a point and shoot as well as well as a video camera i'd probably say maybe a maybe a sony a6500 uh the i think they have the new a6400s with the 18 to 105 lens i think that's a great combo um if you have a little bigger budget maybe the sony a7 III um which is just i love that camera uh, and even paired with that same 18 to 105 because uh, you can use it uh, in APS-C mode. Uh, so but I think that is an APS-C lens. I'm not sure. If so, it's going to be more like a what a 35 to 155 ish something like that. Um, either either way, if you're just looking for a running gun camera, man, um, they have the uh, Sony NX80. There's the Z90. And then there's this one, which is, uh, I got this one for, I think, $619 on eBay used. Uh, and I really, there again, I think I might be impressed with this camera. So don't let the size fool you. It's pretty small, but uh, it's got a, I think this the battery life is like five hours or so. So anyhow, so that's what I'm going to be running this, uh, this season. And if you guys have any remarks, any comments, uh, you know, just let me know. If you don't like this, be sure to hit the dislike button twice. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, there again, nothing special. But um, uh, remember, God loves you guys. Uh, man, He just allows us to be out in the woods. He allows me to be here doing this. I can see, I can touch, I can feel, all because of God. And, uh, and I am just blessed. And uh, I hope the same for you guys. And uh, so have a blessed day. And uh, oh, yeah, by the way, be sure if you haven't been to bowaddicts.com, it's B O W A D X. It's not Bow ADX, it's Bow Addicts. Uh, check out bowaddicts.com and you can find some pretty cool awesome gear between hats t-shirts hoodies stabilizers you name it uh, we have our q2i arrow veins uh, raptex veins we got a smorgasbord of all kinds of just really cool awesome gear and 10 uh, percent of all our profits go back to uh, supporting uh, the hungry the uh, uh we work with mercy ships uh, uh, operation cure you name it uh, operation smile uh, just to help anybody we can. So thanks again for, uh, for watching, guys, and have a blessed day.